Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explaining on molding sand binders. So this is an important topics for casting process. So let us start with the introduction on molding sand binders. So basically binders produce cohesion between the molding sand grains in the green or dry state or you can say that will be the two conditions of the sand and it will be indication as a green condition and dry conditions so basically binders gives strength to the molding sand so that it can retain its shapes as a mold cavity so basically this binder that will be used into the sand molding process so that will be increasing the dimensional accuracy as well as it will be not damaging the mold cavity or you can say it will be retain its shape as a mold cavity so that will be the necessary conditions for sand molding process so binders should be added as optimum minimum that's why that will be increasing the binder contents reducing the permeability of molding sand so as per the requirements of the binders so such kind of concentrations is being added into a molding sand then and then it will be having a better accuracy increasing binder contains increases green compression strand up to a limit after which green compression strand remains practically unchanged with further increasing binder contains so as per the my requirements of the concentrations of the binders such kind of amount is being added not less than that or not more than that that will be the important part as a binder materials so the clay binders are most commonly used for bonding the molding sands the best clay is one which imparts the optimum combinations of the bonding properties moisture life and cost of the producing the required castings then molding sand binders so basically the clay binders are most commonly used as a bonding molding sands clay binders can be classified as so the molding sand binders so first of all that will be a fire clay second one bentonite so basically in case of the bentonite there will be the sodium montori lonite and calcium montomorolinite third one elite and last one as a molding sand binder that will be kaolinite so let us start with the each and every molding sand binders so starting with fire clay so basically fire clay is a refractory clay usually found into the coal measures fire clay particles are about 400 times as large as compared to those of the bentonite so hence the same percentage of the fire clay produces lower strength second one bentonite so in case of the bentonite is most commonly used clay binders and they produce strongest bond in the foundry of the molding sand so that will be having the wide applications in the field of the casting process bentonite deposits are available in india basically into rajasthan and bihar bentonites are the weathered products of volcanic ash and are soft creamy white powders then third one elite Alight is a decomposition products of micaceous materials used due to the weathering. Alight is found in natural morning sands. Alight has softening point around 2500 degree Fahrenheit. Light does not swell in the same way as bentonite, but it gives the reasonable strength. Light particles have thickness and width of 20 and 100 to 250 millimicrons respectively. Kaolinite. 
so basically kalonite is the residue of the weathered granite and basalt so kalonite binders had its compositions around 60% of kalonite 30% of alite and 10% of the quartz kalonite gets very slow swelling due to the water and is non gel forming so that is the characteristics kalonite particles possesses thickness and a width of 20 and 100 to 250 millimicrons respectively so which will be similar to the alite characteristics then water the amount of the water may be vary from 1.5 to 8 percent so that will be depends upon the conditions of the sand it will be green or dry water is responsible for bonding actions of the clay and water activates the clay in the sand and the clay sand mixture develops a strength and plasticity so due to that water added to the same sand mixture partly gets absorbed by the clay and partly remains free and is known as a free water the absorbed water is responsible for developing the proper bonds and green strength the free water acts as a lubricant so by the these free waters these sands it will be easily fill around a pattern for making a sand mold so it increases plasticity it improves the moldability so that will be easily converting the sand molds but it reducing strength of the sand mixers so due to that free water for a given type of clay and its amounts there is an optimum required water content so as from the requirements of that particularly plasticity and lubrications onto that sand the such kind of compositions or percentage of the water maximum up to the 8 percentage it will be added into the for making a sand mold too little water will not be develop the proper strength and plasticity if it will be the less amount of water is being added so that will be having a low flow characteristics low strength and low plasticity so that will be difficulties for making a mold cavity too much water will result in excessive plasticity and dry sand the amount of water required to develop the optimum properties can be found out experimentally so as from the requirements it will be added maximum up to the 8 percentage then additives the basic constituents of the molding sand mixers are sand binders and water so by the application of these three it will be the sand making process the materials other than the basic ingredients are also added to the molding sands mixers of course into the small quantities in order to enhance the existing properties to develop the certain other properties to give the special qualities like resistance to sand expansions defects etc some of the additives of the materials alongs are given below the facing materials so in case of the facing materials tends to obtain the smoother and cleaner surfaces of the castings and help easily peeling of the sand from the casting surface during the shake out second one a few facing materials are sea coal graphite coke silica floor then cuisson materials so in case of the cuisson materials burns when the molten metal is poured and thus gives the rise to the space of the accommodating the expansion of the silica sand at the surface of the mold cavity so that will be the some of the additives materials in the absence of the cuisson materials what happens the large flat surfaces of the castings may be buckle due to the thermal expansion of the silica sand grains so that will be the having a defective mold or can say 
sand mold. Third one, a few fusion materials are wood floor, cellulose is being used as a fusion materials. Other special additives, it will be also added for making a sand mold. Finally, ground, corn floor, iron oxides, boric acids, diethylene glycol that will be used as a additive materials. So I hope you understand this. If you like this, then subscribe and share Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. Thank you so much and keep watching.